Well, hello there, YouTube. Dang, I got stuck on the tracks. No, I just stopped right quick because I wanted to show you something. Look who's back. <laughs> oh, the old Speeder's back. Man, oh man. You don't have this thing for a while and you ride everything else and then suddenly you realize, wow, is that sucker comfortable and fun to ride. Oh, let's give you a hug here. Oh, God. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome home, brother. I'm taking my little back roads here. So how the heck has everybody been? But anyway, it's been, uh, it's been eight days since I returned from Yellowstone, that big old barn. And, uh, It's pretty much been, like, catching up, it seems like. At least that's what it feels like to me, getting back to work. And, uh, man, it's just been a week of, it seems like a week of catching up. And, uh, anyway, I, I, as you can see, I haven't put up, and this is a first for me ever. I mean, I'm usually, uh... I'm putting up videos while I'm on the road when I go on these trips. I don't even bother waiting until I get home. I start pummeling them suckers up right away. Now pretty much everybody else has their videos up and I'm the, the lone survivor here that the holdout. Yeah, I, I contribute that to the to the daily vlogs. You know, working all day and then you come home and you get the daily vlog done, get that built, ready for the morning release, and there's not enough life left in me to to complete a, one of the uh, trip vlogs. But I'll, I'll catch up. They got the weekends and other days, and uh, for the last two or three nights, I've been man getting crazy rest. I've been going to bed early, getting the vlogs done early, going to bed early. And uh, that's been feeling really good. Like last night, I was I was done with yesterday's vlog. It was about nine o'clock, I think, when I was done. But anyway, um, got the spider back. She's been gone three weeks, four weeks. I don't even remember now. It's been a solid three for sure, and I think maybe more. I think it could be. I think it could be four weeks I don't know doesn't matter she's back now oh the old gal wow, I feel like I I sold one of my favorite bikes and I bought the thing back kind of a feeling but anyway this is no back road I've taken like a million times and it always seems like I take it on the spider more than anything else so like going down the freeway and spider just you know did one of those just took the exit and says let's let's take the old back road for old time's sake so what they got planted out there what is that i have no i should probably stop and look right let's find a little place where i'm not stopping in the middle of a turn Wow, I have no idea what that is. Wow, I have no idea. It's a crop I've never seen before. I know they plowed it and planted it. I remember seeing it starting. It's got kind of a weird look to it. And it's not growing real tall. I have no idea. I'm not good at that kind of stuff anyway. Yeah, somebody must be down in the in that little fit. Hey, there's another fish hut on the other side. Look at that. Somebody built another one on the other side. There's that one. You can see the edge of it right there. The 
Kelly and I walk down to. When he's got themselves in the, You know what's funny? When I was flying the drone over there, I seen the little road leading down to that. That looked like it was a pretty well beaten path. So I decided to uh, make use of that little piece of land and put a little hut up. friend <laughs> excuse me <laughs> I'm sorry old friend the speed eider and I was thinking going down the freeway Do you have any idea it would just be straight up cheating if I took this thing on that Yellowstone trip I was just thinking of all the in the cold and the rain and stuff like that yeah this this would have been cheating big time I've been sitting back going, hey, hey. Because you get well, these things that, like, when I, I mean, you got to be going slow for the rain to fall down and get you wet. If you're bombing down the freeway, the rain just kind of goes right over and around you. It's the craziest thing. Your uh, face shield and camera gets wet because the water flips off the end, you know, it rolls up and drips off the end of the, the shield and gets you, but. That's no big deal. That's better than getting blasted by the wind. I hate riding with the shield down, but I forgot my glasses. And I like the windshield down. And then when I put the face shield down, it has a different sound. It, it kind of drowns. Oh, that guy's out there running this tractor this time of night. But it, uh, I don't know, has a kind of a boom. It has a muffled sound. I love having the breeze hitting me with the the shield way down. It reminds me of the stock shield on a street glide. I love it, but you just can't travel down the freeway with it. And kind of the same with this. So you just go, you lift it up, and there's your freeway shield. That's the one thing about the Indians that, man, they hit right on the mark having that adjustable shield, and it doesn't have any gaudiness to it that uh, makes it even look like an adjustable shield. In fact, if you weren't around Indians, you'd probably be shocked if someone all of a sudden hit the button and lifted the shield or lowered it. Look how low that water is. You can see it rolling over that that rock shelf kind of thing there. Man, you don't see that thing for the longest time during the winter. The lights in a way that I don't know. Maybe the polarizer filtered that out. I have no idea. So how's this for a no topic? This is a, this is my old old style motor vlog. Just turn the camera on and go. <laughs> the only thing that came to mind was to show you that the spider. I had the spider back. Very excited about that. I love this damn thing. It would have been cool to take it on that trip, but you know, you're with a whole pack of guys on bikes and you know, the stagger and everything. It's, it's all kind of awkward. A pack of spiders is one thing, you know, you just, it's like you just kind of get in the line and you go, you know. <clears throat> and when you ride a spider around a bunch of bikes, Especially people who aren't around spiders, they have this weird feeling. It's, the, 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 I, I think they think you're going to run them over or something. You know, there's this fear that you're going to collect them with one of them front wheels or something. I have no idea. But uh, it's just it's like riding a wide motorcycle is all it is. <laughs> you know, the way some of these people set up their touring bikes, it's just about as wide as a spider. That old Ford looks like somebody I know, but it's not because there's a Ford over. But they've got the same wheels and everything. And we got somebody down there, my favorite little little hangout spot. Got a gentleman down here casting stuff out. I'm gonna try to get him something out there. Man, 
man, how relaxing. So cool having all this stuff just right around you. It's weird, for some reason, this trip, that that theme keeps kicking up in my head as there's so much to see and explore right here in my backyard. Taking Highway 12, you know, from the Yakima area on over and home. And uh, Highway 12 is just like right down the road from me and where it pops out. You know, at I-5, of course, I cut off and scoot through a different way. I take a big shortcut and just I pop out down there by the Toledo Airport. And now I'm driving across that pass and it was some of the most majestic stuff I've seen the whole time. I'm thinking, man, I'm where I'm at right now, I'm only about an hour and a half from home. I'm up in these beautiful snow-capped mountains and I mean of course Rainier was sitting right there but I mean the foothills and stuff beautiful almost like glaciers and stuff up there thinking geez this is just right down the road from where I live why don't I go goofing off out this way you know we had the the big motocrossing Washougal uh national so it was this weekend so all the all the big boy motocrossers and most of them are also supercross racers they're all at our store today rocks and tomac and, oh shit, i mean i was surprised how many riders showed up this is a good turnout man the lineup for people to to get signatures is crazy down here a little bit. Dr. Pierce's. Hey, moo cows. Anyway, I had exploring plans in, in mind for, uh, for riding the BMW and I was going to do a whole bunch of exploring here in, here in Washington. But uh, those those plans may may have a substantial delay. What are you gonna do? Different manufacturers have their own way of doing things, you know. You just you just gotta go with it. <laughs> it's not anything we're doing, but who knows? And in all fairness, you know, there's construction snafus because, you know, you got to build. Uh, it's just a domestic cat. You never know when a bobcat's going to run in front of you. That's a little tiny cat. Not a bobcat, just somebody's house cat. Or it could be wild. But anyway, we have to, you know, like the Indian side. You know, I've taken you guys over there a few times. Look at that. The birds and then a jet overhead. <laughs> why I point that out there's no way you can see that jet even though it's just a glimmering shiny jet that's a travel path that comes through here I don't know if they're I don't know if they'd be that high going to Seattle they're traveling over but anyway if the BMW W thing doesn't happen this summer. I don't, it kind of puts a monkey wrench in my in my little touring ideas, exploring. So in that note, I've kind of pondered the idea of of uh, trying out a comfortable seat for the DR and uh, taking that old gal. Give me some. Uh, saddlebags or something on it that uh I can pack some stuff around and get a luggage rack kind of a thing on the back. I've seen a bunch of cool ones for the DRs. So I can pack my drone and different stuff, you know, so you can take off for a good ride. I mean I'm not afraid to drive that thing 
like horrendous di distances. People go around the world on those things. They're not worried about the bike. They're just worried about my comfort, which would be the seat only. The seat's the only, only thing that's not comfortable. You know, for any kind of distance. But then I would, you know, you would need to carry some stuff with you. Camera gear and whatnot. Look, it's that time of year that that water just doesn't even look like it's moving. And that, you know how that stream comes rushing down through there? Where it exits right there, you can barely, barely, barely see that anything's even moving. Oh, it's weird, and that storm came all the way across, all the way to them trees. This was just one great big raging river that was... <laughs> Good Lord, I think it had to be good 10, 15 feet higher than what it is right now. It was so high that it, hey, watch out there, front wheel, that it swept through. And you guys remember all the, those kind of trees like that that went all the way around? It just went through and spun through there and just uprooted all those trees over there. So that's this big open like field thing over there. It wasn't there before. <clears throat> Look how calm that water is. I mean, so many times I stop by here, it's just this raging thing. In fact, the wind's kind of blowing at me, and it's rippling the water, so the water almost looks like it's it's flowing up instead of down. <laughs> I know you can't see that. Any you guys it's from the south around alligators, <laughs> it looks like an alligator head sticking up, like he's just bloop, like he's just scoping things out. Man, look at that big old boulder right there. That's a big old suck. See, they came through and repainted our line so we can see. God dang, that's a good looking spider. Holy moly. Yeah, I bumped my glove box and opened it with my belly. Well. Take you by the cedar mill right quick because we haven't done that in a while and we'll uh we'll conclude this video i have uh, rattled on way too long oh look at that sunshine oh heck yeah perfect timing oh that's beautiful I was talking about in the daily vlog last night how the days are just rapidly getting shorter I mean it's just taking like chunks out of the out of the day oh look at that sunsets ex exactly what it was last night oh I love it when it does that but still man it's it's just going so quick back the other way you know, it's funny, it, it, you know, the nice weather and things start turning green and you start getting these, you know, fairly reliable, nice days. The next thing you know, it's summer solstice and you're going, wait a minute. That is the, you know, the pivot point. So how's the old Serengeti doing today? The sun came out, so she's got to be looking kind of good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's got that look, too. Just that perfect look keep looking for the giraffes and rhinos and stuff like that but I guess I just have bad timing they're not out when I come through <laughs> I think I might have to come through for a long long time before I ever see that wow just drive down the road he's look oh man telling you if you can smell how intense that is you just wonder how there's not a toll booth on each side of this little section of road here <laughs> anyway I absolutely rambled on 
like a buffoon in this vlog. That's kind of my old, my old school vlogging. I guess that's still the way I vlog anyway. I, I, I think of old school because I'm so used to doing what I do with the daily vlogs. But uh, anyway, uh, everything's great since the trip. Work is is uh, probably busier than it's been all year, so it's hard to even keep keep my head out of wa above water and, and think about vlogs and stuff like that. I I mean, literally every day I'm going, geez, what am I going to vlog? Yeah, you know, I can't just you know my trip to work, you know, walk out in the morning, my trip to work, my trip home, and then sit down and say say you know how do you do and have a little story. That's the way these things are going. But anyway, I appreciate you guys hanging around. I hope you're glad the spider's back. And uh, we'll be doing some more stuff on it here real soon. So thank you guys very much for watching. You have a wonderful, wonderful day. We'll see you now.